Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 9th, 2022. I dropped the cards, half of the deck, okay, whatever. Hi, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> let's try that again. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings and gumroad.com slash angelsouls for extra angelic content, including meditations to connect with archangels. Let's see what we have. What's the deal? What's going on? Okay, I cannot wait to see the comments from yesterday's video. <laughs> how many of you out there have had something, if you didn't watch it, I told this whole story about how I was holding a cup, of, it had a drink in it and like the bottom of the cup broke open, the sides split down, the lid popped off and it just like disintegrated in my hand and the liquid went everywhere. But yeah, have you ever had something weird like that happen? Let me know. All right, <laughs> so we have uh, full moon in Taurus detoxify. Yeah, this is getting back in touch with nature. We are getting grounded, we are getting centered, and we're really letting go of unnecessary worry, guilt, regret, whatever kind of lower frequency emotion that just keeps draining you. Maybe it's drama from other people or other people's opinions. Releasing other people's opinions of you. That's a way of detoxifying as well. And I know a lot of people are always like, well, I'm gonna detoxify from the news. You certainly can, but remember that not everything, I mean, there are things happening out there and we have to be at least somewhat aware, but you do what's right for you. And detoxify doesn't necessarily mean beat up your body either by starving it or whatever. Check with a doctor before you go down any road. Guys, I have done that so many times where I have taken on an eating style that some other person said, this is what's right. This is what you should be doing. And it actually caused bad health effects for me. So don't just listen to your pal who isn't a nutritionist or a doctor. <laughs> okay. We say detoxify. You do what's right for you. What does that mean? Uh, for me, I'm going to detoxify from people trying to pull me into their drama. I'm going to detoxify from people, you know, pulling things just to harm me, thinking they're going to get my energy, right? It's because I'm going to be devastated that they did that. Well, all I'm going to do is cut you out of my life, right? Don't be afraid to do that. And, and that's another societal thing. We all look at me. I'm like, I'm going to lecture now. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Sorry. But like, we all need to become aware of when people keep trying to encourage us to go back in and, you know, go back in for more abuse. Oh, they didn't mean anything by it. Oh, it wasn't that big a deal. Oh, you know, family's more important than anything. You know, you don't need to give into that. Actually, those are very, very toxic statements. When somebody shows you who they are, you know how to finish this, right? Listen to them. Like they're, they're showing you who they are. <laughs> like don't, don't keep going back into a bad toxic situation and don't uh, exit something with a lot of judgment either, because that's also very toxic behavior. But you know, it's going to be a long road where we're all learning not to be enablers and we're learning to not, um, dishonor somebody else's existence. And, uh, you know, Maybe not giving or not siding with the enablers either. Having some awareness around that as well. I think that will help detoxify us and get us going in a different direction here, a positive one. So <laughs> we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.